No matter how much you sleep, do you ever feel like you have low energy? If so, low energy is one of the most common signs or symptoms of thyroid dysfunction. In today's video, I'll reveal the reasons behind your thyroid's role in your low energy levels, as well as simple ways to obtain unlimited energy on a daily basis. Let's get started. The first thing to keep in mind is that there are various types of thyroid dysfunction. One type is low thyroid or hypothyroidism. It may be an autoimmune thyroid ailment such as Hashimoto's or Graves disease, or it may be an increased thyroid issue such as hyperthyroidism. The intriguing thing is that low energy is a common symptom shared by all of these illnesses. What's interesting about this is that when your thyroid is malfunctioning, your entire body shuts down. This is why people with hypothyroidism or Hashimoto conditions experience low energy levels. People with hyperthyroidism experience low energy levels because their thyroid is overactive and overloads their system. And people with autoimmune conditions like Graves and Hashimoto experience low energy levels due to underlying inflammation in their bodies and the thyroid gland. It is crucial to understand that low energy levels can be linked to any thyroid condition, regardless of the specific one you have. No matter how much you sleep or how much you nap, People with thyroid disorders always feel tired. Here are some reasons why this is the case. Thyroid disorders directly affect other hormones in our bodies. The first hormone that these disorders affect is the adrenal hormone, which is produced by tiny glands called adrenals that sit on top of your kidneys. One of the ways that cortisol helps our body function properly is that it gives us energy. It is one of those steroid hormones that our body produces which is why we have good energy. Almost everyone who has a thyroid disorder has adrenal dysfunction, which means that either their adrenals are producing high levels of cortisol all the time, or they have burned down and are not producing any at all. Because our bodies are producing abnormal amounts of cortisol, we feel tired and are unable to produce energy. So the most common cause of low energy is adrenal hormonal dysfunction. Your insulin hormones are the second hormone that the thyroid now regulates. The body secretes insulin to control blood sugar levels. Most people with thyroid disorders have insulin resistance, which is a condition in which the thyroid malfunction prevents the body from using insulin or makes the hormone resistant to it. This means that even though insulin is present, it is unable to perform its function of Breaking down sugar in the body, which prevents important organs like the brain and mitochondria from receiving sugar. While your bloodstream is circulating it in turn, because their thyroid hormone is producing insulin resistance, this is the reason why many people with thyroid disorders also have high A1C or blood sugar levels, or they have been diagnosed with prediabetes. This is the second reason why they feel exhausted or lacking in energy. The third factor contributing to fatigue or low energy in thyroid dysfunction is the thyroid's influence on your mitochondria. The microscopic organelles known as mitochondria are found in every cell in your body. They are known as the powerhouse of the body since they are responsible for producing energy and are linked to thyroid hormone. Thus, thyroid hormone directly regulates mitochondria. And when your thyroid is malfunctioning, your mitochondria are too, which is another reason for your low energy levels. The final factor contributing to low energy levels in thyroid dysfunction is high levels of inflammation. Every person with thyroid dysfunction has high levels of inflammation, which overloads the body and prevents it from operating at peak efficiency. When your body is not operating at peak efficiency, it shuts down the production of energy, which is why, once more, no matter how much you rest, your body doesn't feel like it has enough energy. Thus, these are all the causes of your low energy levels when you have thyroid dysfunction. Let's now discuss how to address each of these issues. The first thing to keep in mind about this is that your first meal of the day should be a high protein diet because that is when your body's machinery will begin to produce energy and your thyroid will begin to function. Therefore, if you incorporate a high-protein diet into your breakfast or early in the morning, you will notice a noticeable improvement in your energy levels. You can do this by either adding things like turkey, fish, or chicken. 
The first thing you need to do is increase the amount of high-quality protein in your diet, especially in the morning. If you do eat meat, you can have eggs for breakfast in the morning, which will provide you with high-quality protein. If you are a vegetarian or vegan, you can use protein powders, which are made with high-quality vegan ingredients like brown rice proteins or chia seeds. You can also have lentils, legumes, or beans for breakfast, which will provide you with high-quality protein in the morning to start your day. The second thing you must do is address your adrenal glands, namely the cortisol hormone they produce. To do this, you must take specific supplements. One product that has been demonstrated to help strengthen your adrenal glands and provide you with adequate energy is rhodiola is referred to as an adaptogen and has been used for ages in many different cultures. Several studies have shown that persons who regularly take rhodiola in the morning report feeling more energized. Incorporate rhodiola as a supplement. The recommended daily dosage is from 300 to 500 milligrams, which can raise energy levels generally. Ashwagandha is the second supplement in this group. Another adaptogen that has been used in Ayurvedic medicines to help people gain stamina is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is very nice and gives you a lot of energy if you take it during the day. But if you take it at night, it has a more calming effect and helps you sleep properly. If you're taking ashwagandha for energy, make sure to take it in the morning. I've seen that people who combine ashwagandha with rhodiola actually experience better results when it comes to their morning energy production. The second thing you can do to help boost your energy levels is to take an additional supplement called L-tyrosine. Tyrosine is an amino acid that is necessary for most people with thyroid disorders because it helps the body rebalance thyroid hormones. For this reason, taking tyrosine as an additional amino acid has been shown to boost your thyroid gland and raise your energy levels. The amount of L-tyrosine that you can take on a regular basis usually ranges from 200 to 500 milligrams. The next step is to repair your mitochondria so that you can generate enough energy, which requires a healthy diet. This means that, in addition to the high-quality protein I previously discussed, you also need to include high-quality fats, such as fatty fish, avocados, nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds, as well as coconut oil and olive oil blended with avocados. Coenzyme Q10 is one of the supplements that will be beneficial for your mitochondrial health. These all contain healthy lipids that will assist your mitochondria. Coenzyme Q10 is among those supplements that, according to study, can enhance the production of energy by promoting the health of the mitochondria. That's the supplement you can use. The next supplement is L-carnitine, which works by assisting your mitochondria to burn fat that is circulated throughout your body to produce energy. For this reason, L-carnitine is a great supplement that you can take again on a regular basis to support the health of your mitochondria and undoubtedly increase your body's production of energy. The last thing we need to address is your body's high levels of inflammation. If these levels don't go down, your body won't produce enough energy. Therefore, it is crucial to follow an anti-inflammatory diet that includes lots of colorful, non-starchy veggies, high protein, and healthy fats. Certain supplements can also help reduce inflammation in the body. A high-dose vitamin C supplement is one of those essentials because vitamin C is a potent antioxidant that reduces inflammation. It both supports the functioning of mitochondria and helps the body's inflammatory response. For this reason, taking regular supplements of vitamin C can help improve your energy levels. Thank you for joining us at Health Angel Solutions, where we are dedicated to bringing you the best tips and advice for a healthier life. We hope you found our three tips to boost your energy in thyroid video both informative and empowering. As we've discussed, managing thyroid health can significantly impact your energy levels and overall well-being. By incorporating these simple yet effective strategies into your daily routine, you can take control of your thyroid health and boost your energy levels naturally. Focusing on a nutrient-rich diet is crucial. Including foods that are high in iodine, selenium, and zinc can support thyroid function. 
Iodine is essential for the production of thyroid hormones, while selenium helps convert these hormones into their active form. Zinc, on the other hand, is vital for the synthesis of thyroid hormones. Incorporating foods such as seafood, eggs, nuts, and seeds can make a significant difference. Additionally, avoiding processed foods and refined. Sugars will help maintain stable energy levels and prevent the spikes and crashes that can leave you feeling drained. Regular physical activity is key to maintaining energy levels and supporting thyroid health. Exercise causes your body to produce more endorphins, which can improve your energy and mood. It also helps regulate your metabolism, which is often affected by thyroid disorders. Even mild exercises like yoga, swimming, or walking can have a lot of advantages. The goal is to find an activity you enjoy and can stick with consistently. This not only helps with energy levels, but also improves overall physical health and mental well being. Lastly, managing stress through mindfulness and relaxation techniques can have a profound effect on your thyroid health and energy levels. Chronic stress can lead to imbalances in thyroid hormones, further exacerbating fatigue and other symptoms. Incorporating practices such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or even simple hobbies that bring you joy can help reduce stress levels. Ensuring you get enough quality sleep is also essential as it allows your body to repair and recharge, leading to better energy throughout the day. At Health Angel Solutions, we believe that small, consistent changes can lead to significant improvements in your health. By focusing on a balanced diet, regular exercise, and effective stress management, you can enhance your thyroid function and enjoy higher energy levels. Remember, it's always important to consult with your healthcare provider before making any major changes to your health routine. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips and solutions. If you think this video is helpful, please hit the like button and tell others about it. Stay tuned for more content to help you live a healthier, more energetic life. See you in the next video. Please click the link in the description to check out the adaptogenic supplement on Amazon that combines ashwagandha and rhodiola rosea to promote energy and relaxation.